REITs are coming off their best quarter historically, up more than 27%. Here to talk about what fueled such strong growth in the second quarter is NARI Vice President of Research and Investor Outreach, Brad Case. Brad, what was the driving force behind such a record-breaking quarter? Well, the driving force was really the evidence that the liquidity crisis is, is, is essentially resolved for publicly traded REITs. Um, it was quite a rally. Uh, as he said, it was the best quarter ever, but, um, but it's important for investors to understand that doesn't mean it's an unprecedented um, rally. We had uh, two very similar quarters back in the early 1990s in another market phase that was very much like the current market phase. It was a time when, uh, when the commercial real estate market was in a period of very, very uh, deep trouble, prolonged um, decline in underlying property values. But REIT stock prices lead the rest of the, of the commercial real estate market. And so REIT stocks had already uh, gone through their downturn and were coming out of it, and specifically coming out of it by recapitalizing the REIT industry um, to put them in the position not just to pay down their debt, but also to, uh, to acquire assets going forward. So what happened in the current quarter was very similar to, the, to those quarters back in the early 1990s in that uh, REITs did secondary equity offerings to raise money to pay down their debt and later on to acquire assets at good prices. And investors can see that the future looks very bright for REITs, and they, and they wanted to make sure that they didn't miss the, the opportunity to get in on that. Great. And you mentioned these secondary offerings. Obviously, that was the, the main story of, of the first half of the year. Um, do you think the market will continue to be as receptive to these? And, and is this a, an area that REITs are going to likely continue to explore? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, REITs are, are going to continue to raise equity um, and raise capital more generally going forward the next few years. Um, what really separates REITs from other investors in uh, commercial property is their access to public equity markets for the purpose of raising money to pay down debt and then, as I said, to acquire property going forward. Um, what we saw in the, in the first half of this year was about $18.7 billion of new uh, security issuances um, in the publicly traded REIT market. Um, that amounted to something like 8.5% of total market cap. Back in the early 1990s, we had a period of nearly, nearly three years during which security issuances averaged about 10.5%. So, uh, and, and that started with a surge just as the second quarter of this year was a surge in equity issuances. But that initial surge was, uh, was, was small compared to what happened in the next few years. And I expect the same thing going forward. Those uh, equity issuances are going to be driven, in, uh, driven first by, uh, by the desire for, of REITs to, uh, to strengthen their capital structure by paying down, um, paying down their debt, uh, you know, meeting their, their, their short-term uh, debt obligations. Uh, strengthening their capital structure so that, so that they're in a position to, uh, to, to take advantage of growth opportunities going forward. Great. And other than continued equity offerings, what do you see as the next major trend to emerge? Well, the next major trend will be IPOs, initial public offerings. Um, the, 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 the issuances that we've seen uh, so far this year have been, have been offerings by existing publicly traded REITs. Um, but as in the early 1990s, uh, what we will see is that I, there are quite a few investors in, uh, in commercial real estate on the private side um, who are, you know, are strong, strong investment managers with strong portfolios, but they have debt maturities coming, coming due and they have no way to make those debt payments because property values have come down so much. So they basically have two, two choices. One of them is to sell assets into a very, very soft market that's likely to continue to be soft through about 2012. The other, if, if they're strong enough, is to do an initial public offering, become a publicly traded REIT, and use that equity to meet their debt obligations. And that's exactly what we, what we saw in the early 1990s with some of the names that are now the biggest names in the, in the publicly traded REIT industry. And I expect that trend to repeat itself in the next few years. Great. Thank you, Brad. Sounds like a very exciting time for REITs. It is. For REIT.com, I'm Matt Bichon.